Hey everyone, Chef Jason Hill here, and I think every home cook needs a cookbook on sandwiches. And I've had this one since I was in culinary school years ago, and it's called The Big Bite Book of Sandwiches. And it's by Lorna Rhodes, and she's got some great recipes in here, and today I'm gonna make her Florentine sandwich. Let's get started. I have two ounces of washed baby organic spinach that we're gonna dress up. To do that, we're gonna take two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, two teaspoons of white wine vinegar, and a teaspoon of regular sugar. All right, but before we make up our dressing, we're going to cook off our bacon because what goes well with spinach? Of course, bacon. What goes well with bacon? Everything. So let's crisp these up. All right, my pan's been preheating on high. We'll lay our bacon in there. The recipe called for three pieces. I'm going with four. Gotta have more bacon. Put our little screen on so it doesn't get bacon grease everywhere. Okay, for this easy, flavorful vinaigrette, I'm gonna start with the sugar. Get the two teaspoons of vinegar in there and the two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. I'm gonna whisk that together. And then we slowly whisk in our olive oil to emulsify the mixture. We're just whisking air into the vinaigrette here so the oil and vinegar come together. That's it. So we're back to the bacon. We're gonna give it a turn. We want it crispy, we don't want to burn it. Don't burn your bacon, or I'll have to come over and slap you upside the head with a piece of bacon. Nice and crispy. Now we're just gonna take a small red onion and slice it as thinly as possible. Okay. Now we're just gonna slice one tomato. This is a store-bought tomato. I really can't wait till my father-in-law's tomato garden comes in in a couple of months. And now we're just gonna crumble up the bacon into the vinaigrette, the little pieces. And then whisk that. Now we're just gonna toss this over the spinach. And just gently fold it into the leaves so they're completely coated. And then now we just add the sliced onion to the spinach. I go a little light on the onion. I'm not big on raw onions, but you have to have it for this recipe. <laughs> One thing that cracked me up about this recipe, it says for a healthier version, add a fried egg. So we've got to add a fried egg to this thing. Okay, I have my pan preheating on medium high. And we're gonna put in about a teaspoon of butter. And let's just drop in our egg. Gotta hit it with a little black pepper. Fresh cracked. Scrape it around so it doesn't start to stick. Okay, I want that to cook on the top a little bit, so I just put a lid on it, let it go for about a minute. All right, unfortunately my yolk broke, so at this point I'm just gonna go ahead and flip it. That's it, we're done. Okay, the recipe calls to use like a white bread. I've got sourdough that I toasted here. And I'm gonna put on a little mayo on each side. Spread it all the way to the edge. Okay. Mix 
works. We take a few slices of tomato, and this will make up to, I believe it was four sandwiches. We're gonna top it with the spinach, bacon, and onion. And then finally, our fried egg. Let's see, that's probably better for the camera there. <laughs> Don't you just love sandwiches? I hope you enjoyed this quick, easy sandwich recipe. Let's give it a bite. Mmm. That is a good sandwich. Thanks for tubing in. For more simple and delicious recipes, click on these links. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.